What is up, Splade here, back with a new video, and holy crap, I've not said that in a really long time. And if you did not know, um, I've taken a little break here, and it's been a couple of months since I've not uploaded, and it's probably my longest break uh, to date, and I really do apologize for that. I will be uploading more videos soon, and um, yeah, so we're back with a new video finally, and yeah, so let's get started with the uh, tutorial. Alright, so for this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to install um, maps onto your Minecraft, so custom maps onto your Minecraft uh, for the version, for the latest version, which happens to be 1.11. However, this will work for any versions um, of Minecraft that will come up later in the future. So, yeah, so what you want to do is first go ahead and open up your browser. Also, I'm doing a face cam. Um, I haven't done one in a really long time, so this is how I look for all my viewers that don't know how I look like. But, anyways, there you want to go to these two websites well actually you can just go to one of them so uh, one of them is WinRAR if you already have the program you're good if you don't you can just come here and download it uh, whether it be the 32-bit or the 64-bit now um, most of the Minecraft maps uh, download will be in a .zip file however some might be in a .rar, um, RAR or a .rar file and for those you'll need to extract it using a program like WinRAR or 7-zip so if you don't like WinRAR you can also go to um, this link here it'll be down below in the description and download 7-zip uh, so I have WinRAR so I'm going to be just uh, exiting these out because I already have the program however if you don't remember to install them you might need them so yeah after you've gotten 7-zip or WinRAR installed onto your computer what you can do next is pretty much drop down the description of this video and I provide you guys a lot of uh, websites that you can use to find some micro maps custom made micro maps now obviously if you already have your map you can uh, uh, skip this part of the video since we're just showing you guys how to download them but if you just want to know how to install the maps this, uh, you can skip this part of the video however if you don't have any maps you can follow along so I'm gonna be using micromaps.com for this example however there's many more that you can check out which I've linked down below in the description so as you can see the site allows you to narrow your map down by the themes as you can see game puzzle horror city creative blah blah you can also go by the top rated most popular or the most latest you can also search your map if you know the name of it so um, I'm gonna be just looking for a random map here for this tutorial and uh, I do mind the micro version right here keep that in mind um, as you can see some are 1.10.2 some are 1.11 some are different versions um, so I'm just gonna be looking for the latest one as you can see 1.11 that's the latest one for Minecraft at the moment however you can actually still run older version maps on the current on the latest version of Minecraft so as you can see the 8 is a 1.10.2 version map however you can actually uh, run this on the latest version as it will convert it during the process and I'll prove to you guys that this will do it but um, for now let's just go ahead and download this map here so let's open up the page and this is pretty simple you just gotta hit download map and we're just gonna save this file to our desktop here as you can see it's finished downloading so now what I'm going to do is just download a older map that's obviously not made for version 1.11 and just prove to you guys that those maps will work on the latest version so uh, say you're on a YouTube video and someone provided a download link for the map and as you can see this guy provided a Planet Minecraft link I believe it's called Venice City so let's go on that I'm going to click on Minecraft World Save and there's the ad fly site, so we're gonna have to wait for this. All right, it's finished downloading. I'm gonna hit skip ad, and just click the link here. There we go. It led us to the download. We're gonna also download this. So there we go. Now Venice should be a 1.8 Minecraft version map, and this should be a 1.11 right here. I'm gonna to prove to you guys that both will actually work on the latest version. So I'm gonna let that download, and I'll be right back. All right, so my maps have finished downloading. As you can see, they're right here. And we got lucky in this case, they're both .zip files. That means Windows can open them up without using any uh, third-party programs like WinRAR or 7-zip. However, if they were uh, .rar files, then you would actually need 7-zip or WinRAR to open them up. Just keep that in mind. So uh, let's just go ahead and open up one of them. So this is the Herb Mines Mansion one. So let's go ahead and open that up. As you can see for me, it opened up WinRAR because we'll obviously have WinRAR installed, so open up in WinRAR. And uh, what you want to do is just make sure of a couple of things. So let's go into the content here, it's called Herobinds Manager, let's go into that, and bam, we already have all these files. So uh, these files will need to be in your uh, maps folder 
for it to be an actual map. If it doesn't have these files, then it'll probably not work. So these are the files that you want to have. So data, dim, player data, region stats, structures, uh, level data, level data, old, and session log. Those are pretty much the important ones. If it's missing some of these, um, that's probably okay. But as long as it has most of these in it, then you're pretty much good to go. Now, there might be in some cases, I know I had this happen to me before, there might be in some cases um, some map files that are structured like this. So I have this one. I made this one as an example. So let's again go into that one. And as you can see, I opened up, and here's a folder. Let's go into the folder, and bam, there's another folder. So there's a folder within the folder. So let's go into that one, and there we go. Now we all actually have all our stuff that we actually need. So how do you fix this problem? Well, you just pretty much extract the original file. So once you went into them, so let's extract the original file here. And then let's go into that folder. And again, you have the map. So you go into that, then you have your actual stuff. So pretty much you just want to copy all the actual uh, stuff. So your data, dim, player data, all that. So uh, highlight them all, then right click and cut. Sorry, cut, not copy. And you just want to go back to the main folder, as you can see, which has the map. So you want to go there and paste and then just go ahead and delete the map right here. So uh, pretty much you just want to have all of these uh, the required folders like data, dim, player data, all that in the first um, level of the folder. So that means if I go into the map folder, if I open it up, you should able to be uh, you should be able to see like all the data, dim, and all that stuff. There shouldn't be another folder covering all these uh, actual stuff that we actually need. So you just got to make sure. Um, of that because if you don't then it might not work so i'm just going to go ahead and delete that and go and delete that and just re-extract the folder here and obviously this is like the normal one which has all the stuff in the first level so we're good um also let's extract this one here uh, let me make sure there we go see so yeah, as you can see some maps might not have all of those files but as long as it has like data player data region stats you should be good so let's go ahead and extract that as well onto our desktop like so and now we have both of our folders. So now what you want to do is just go ahead and open up Minecraft, the launcher. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And after it opens up, what you want to do is you want to click on edit profile. And then you want to click on open game directory. And then this should open up this folder right here. So it's just pretty much take you to your dot Minecraft folder. Once you're in here, you want to locate the saves folder. So I have mine right here, double click and go into that. and this is where all of your worlds that you have made on minecraft this is where all of them are stored so what you want to do is just get those two folders that are of course extracted so they shouldn't be as a dot zip folder anymore just make sure of that and you just want to get those and go ahead and simply highlight and drag it and drop it into the saves folder like so and that's pretty much how you would get the game uh, the maps into your game and then you can just exit out of that like that now we can um, exit out of this and just hit play. All right, we're in. Let's go into single player, and this should show you all the worlds that you've downloaded. And as you can see, um, there's the Minecraft map right there. We can. This is the one for version 1.11. So let's go ahead and see if that works. So um, still loading. And there we go. There we're we're here in the custom world. As you can see, Herobine's mansion. And there you go. So that one works. Now I did say um, any map version that's like 1.10.2 or 1.8 or whatever should work still work on the latest one so let's see if that is true so let's go into single player and venice is a, a 1.8 version map let's see if it um, actually works it should work because uh, minecraft can convert the map and allow you to play it on the latest version and there you go as you can see it works this is a 1.8 map currently working on 1.11 as you can see so that's pretty much how you would install the maps again that whole file structure thing is very important so i um, highly recommend you to go back and rewatch that part as much time as you need to to make sure that you got your files structured the right way and of course after you've gotten the right way just drop it in your saves folder and that's how i would install the uh, maps now i'm going to show you guys how to quickly just um, get a custom map and install it into your minecraft server so if you have a minecraft server and you want to install a custom map i'll show you guys that in a little bit as well to install uh, your custom maps onto your Minecraft server it's very simple so what you want to do is obviously you have to have the server already made so I have the Minecraft server here and this is a vanilla server and obviously I'm not going to show you guys how to make a Minecraft server in this video but I do have tutorials on it and you can uh, if you want to check those out I'll link them in the annotation 
uh, on the information card but anyway so what you want to do is just simply open up your Minecraft server folder and obviously it should have um, files like blogs world and all that and let's say I want the Herobrine's um, map uh, as my server map so to do that I'm just gonna open up the .zip file for the um, Herobrine's mansion map and we're gonna go ahead and extract it again like so and then uh, basically we're gonna right click on it rename it world all lowercase just like that and then we're gonna go back to our micro server folder we're gonna delete the all lowercase world folder just go ahead and delete that and we're gonna dra uh, drag it and drop it into our server folder we're just gonna start our server all right, let's go into our server show you right here there we go now let's log in and bam there we go we just uh, now we're in the custom map that we just installed onto our server and I think I'm in a different spawn point or something but as you can see it worked it's pretty simple um, on how to like you know completely install custom apps onto your Minecraft. So if this video helped you leave a like, subscribe if you're new and if you guys have any new videos uh, that you want me to make please uh, leave them down below in the comment section but um, besides that guys uh, I'll be back with a new video.